pretty cool. That's probably the best tasting water I've ever had. Wow. Hey bear. This is little part. It's kind of technical. Really cool glacier right in here that's coming right into the lake. Love you, darling. Bye. Love you too, Dave. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I, got, I got these little pockets of cell service come up, and that was a call with one of the yoga studio managers. Had an issue with a broken toilet. Anyway, so I got my big pack today. This is my hunting pack. And the reason for it is because my little day pack that I have just didn't have enough space to carry everything I wanted to carry. And since I had the extra room, I threw my puffy jacket and puffy pants in there, as well as an emergency bivy and a pillow, just in case. But <laughs> we don't want any of that to go on. And I don't, because I got stuff going on, I don't really feel like staying up there for the night. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. And I did leave my rifle behind, so all I got is bear spray and my uh, my bear banger. So you guys have seen this. I've talked about it in another video. I think it was called a grizzly bear encounter. If you go back, you can you can find that, and you'll see me talking about this thing. Anyway. I got about uh, two and a half clicks of walking up an old logging road before I get to a trailhead. So I'm just gonna huff it. We'll see you up there. It's quite a hike. I think it's more than two clicks. Yeah, we, I'm at the trailhead. It's a little pink flag right there. You can see the trail going up. Hi. Can't so show you the view yet. Anyway. Oh, wait. I never walked that road or hiked that road from where I parked all the way up. Last time I was up here, I drove my Jeep to just down the hill. Right down there, like down that way. Whew. Anyway, 
I think I'm about <laughs> a third the way there. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's go. It's pretty cool. Embarrassing. That's a pretty cool little creek going through here. Nice clean water. Perfect timing too, because I just ran out. I'll filter some up. Holy smokes, that tastes really good. Hmm. That's amazing. That's probably the best tasting water I've ever had. I and mean, I filtered from stuff like that before, but that's really good. Hey bear. Smell it. Hey bear. Okay guys. I'm gonna break out my trekking poles again. This is little part. It's kind of technical and I could use the assistance. So, yeah. Well, I still got that blueberry on there. 
It's an exercise of caution. Whew. And I got a ways to go. Oh, yeah. It's quite a push getting up here. Wow, we um, probably took on a little bit more than what I should have, but I'm just going to take it easy. I do have a little bit of food in my pack, so by the time I get up here, I'm going to just sit down, relax for maybe a couple hours, and uh, see if I can't chuck my line in this lake. Um, Wow, that last little stretch there, that was quite a bit, all those rocks. I still got another another bit to go up, check it out. Ooh yeah. Oh, super beautiful. So, I'm gonna go right up on top of there. So I got a little bit more to go. I'm having a hard time even appreciating it because that last stretch just took a lot of effort and I'm just trying to rest and recover. Hmm. The air is pretty thin up here and I can I can feel that so I think that's what's making it a little bit difficult is I gotta breathe more and not the same amount of oxygen. Uh, anyway I'm uh, making up a little camp food here. The sun was getting pretty intense there for me on the way up. So I, I came under this little rock up here behind me just because, well, I'm in the shade here and I just needed to get out of the sun. So, but over there is a pretty beautiful part of the lake too to check out because there's a really cool glacier right in here that's coming right into the lake. So I'll show you that in just a sec. Oh. Yeah, the glacier is just back there. So when I relocate, I'll show you that. And I'm not sure if that's the very top of Cloudburst, but that's Cloudburst Mountain. Pointed it out to you the other day and it just looked like a round little knob, but it's still kind of gnarly. And I've been, I've been all up there and over that hump up there. It's pretty neat. I'm not gonna go up there today just cause that was quite a hike already, but uh, we'll fly the drone around and Check it out from a drone point of view, I guess. So I was hoping I'd get up here and I've always wanted to try this lake out with my fishing rod. I almost doubt there'd be anything in here though, but uh, you know, my up here might as well try. <laughs> We're high enough up that this thing might get frozen solid come winter and those fish just, it's not a good enough habitat for them. I think that's about all I'm going to give it. <laughs> Have you guys ever had this kind of thing? It basically, it's just dehydrated food, but it gets rehydrated when you add the water and that's it. Sweet and sour rice with chicken and vegetables. It also has more sugar in it than anything I've had in a really long time. And I haven't had rice in a really, really long time. So...
probably could have spent a little bit more time doing more drone footage, but um, it was just taking a while. And I really want to get going to get back down there because it took me about four and a half hours to get here. So I got a little trek ahead of me to get down. And uh, anyway, let's see you back at the van, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna stay another night. I mean, why not, right? Look at this place. Um, otherwise, I just have to roll back to Squamish and stay at the Walmart parking lot. And that doesn't sound very good at all compared to this. So I'm gonna stay put and um, I'll probably spend the day out here tomorrow just chilling out, so that'll be nice. I gotta edit a video and uh, th this I couldn't ask for a better place to do it. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked that day today. Um, it was definitely, an interesting experience for me today. Uh, I was knackered by the time I got up to that lake. I had all these thoughts and ambitions to fish and fly the drone more and explore and stuff. I was spent and I was just, I just had this feeling that I should make my way back, back down sooner and later. And I'm glad I did, because now I can just chill out right now. I can uh, fix up a shower and, uh, just rest for the rest of the night anyway guys um thanks for coming along we'll see you soon okay bye for now